Okay. Now, uh, now, uh, uh, now, uh, uh, so th now uh, I shall be comparing between these two before and after the blood pressure reading. Okay, how to proceed? So uh, I just go to analyze. All right, I click on the analyze. Then I click on the compare means. Then I click on the paired sample t test. Right, so that is our first step to check. So I click on the paired sample t test, and you can you can see here our two variable, and it is the paired sample. So there are two variable before and after. First, I choose the the first variable before, and I I click here. So this one will come here. Then I choose after the second variable. I click here, so that whole thing has come here. Then option is there anything? Uh, option is is uh, is it it is a whole whole confidence interval. Exclude cases. Analysis by analysis. So I continue. Okay. Then uh, I press on the OK. press on the OK. The, the outcome is here of these variables. You can see the outcome of the t-test. You can see from here, right? The outcome. We can see all the outcome. So outcome of the t-test. You can see from here. And you can see the paired sample statistics. The first sample is uh, it is after and b before. Two two variable are here, and it is the mean value, and it is also the mean value of the blood pressure. Okay. And uh, and here is the outcome of Pierce sample t test, right here. So this one is the outcome of the paired sample t-test. So outcome is here. So the outcome is here. You can see the paired sample t-test, right? The outcome is here. Uh, you can see the 95% confidence interval and significance level or the p-value. Significance level or the p-value is how much 0 0.276 right that is the p value right okay now here the question is that what is our hypothesis right what is our hypothesis that that we want to check now so the hypothesis is actually there is no difference between the between that uh, be between the before and after uh, i'm just writing my hypothesis uh, so that uh, you can understand better so the hypothesis is i'm writing here our hypothesis is What is our null hypothesis? Okay. Null hypothesis is there is no difference between there is a no no difference between uh, between the between the before and after right there is no mean difference i'm sorry here there is no mean difference between the before and after uh, between the before and after uh, blood pressure reading blood pressure reading 
there is no mean difference between the before and after blood pressure reading that means this one is the blood pressure reading before the exercise and this one is the after the exercise so there is no mean difference between the before and after blood pressure reading and what is alternative hypothesis there is difference right there is difference the first null hypothesis is there is no mean difference and the second alternative hypothesis is there is a mean difference okay and the question is that what is our guideline to reject or accept null hypothesis the guideline is if the p value or sig value is less than 5% 5% means 0.05 5% means 0.05 then then we reject now hypothesis okay and accept alternative hypothesis right but uh, but if the p value is more than 5% then we cannot we cannot reject now hypothesis rather we accept now hypothesis so that is the guideline normally I am telling again if the p-value is or sig significance level significance value is less than 5% then we reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis but if the p-value is more than 5% then we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis that is the guideline okay now we check how much is our p value you see from here uh, this one uh, actually called uh, significant value or p value they are same meaning so the value is 0 0.276 so our p value is uh, 0 0.276 meaning that 27.6 percent so that is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no mean difference between the before and after blood pressure reading what does it means actually uh, it means that it means that our special exercise program could not could not reduce the blood pressure among the patients 
right it means that our special exercise program could not reduce the blood pressure among the patients or the exercise program has been failed right or the exercise program has been failed the the, the it has no impact on the blood pressure patients so that is the outcome that is the uh, outcome of the whole test thank you very much for being with me for a while